And in the driver's seat for this golf tournament, the executive director of the Rocket Mortgage Classic, Jason Langwell. He's with us this morning. Busy time, busy time for you, but I know getting to the weekend means so much. Thanks for being here with us, and, and I know, Jason, you built this field with such deep, young talent. To see the leaderboard look like it does with so much of it, how thrilled are you on this Saturday? It's unbelievable. It's the best field we've ever had coming in. I think it's the best leaderboard we've had. You got Tony looking for back-to-back -back wins, Cam looking for his first win, Adam Scott and Stuart Sink, major champions, kind of lurking, our player of the year. Uh, Patrick Cantley looking to get into the mix. It's just going to make for an unbelievable weekend out here. Tony Fino is a guy, we've stood here before doing an interview like this in this special, and he'll be teeing off early on a Sunday morning, and he'll say, man, he just he missed a couple shots, but he's a guy, he likes playing here. Yep. He told me last week he's playing really well. He's a name to watch. He goes out and wins the 3M Open. I don't know if he gave you credit for that, for picking him last week or not. But then he's here doing this thing. What's impressed you most about seeing him at the top here? Unbelievable. I mean, his ball striking is incredible. I mean, he hit every single green in regulation. You know, in his first round, and if he and he hasn't even been putting that well, actually, and it, it's almost scary to think if a few other putts had gone in. But I think they're going to this weekend. Uh, it's just an unbelievable leaderboard. And I think you know, with the conditions laying down like they are now, I think we're going to see some incredible scoring and lots of birdies, and maybe even an eagle out there in area three one three. Year four of this, you guys have added so much to this community. The golf course has looked immaculate, um, but the fan zones and the different energy here. Have you yeah. sensed the difference here in your fourth year doing this at the Rocket Mortgage Classic? We really have. I mean, the players have even noticed. Uh, we've noticed as a staff. I had players last night, even this morning, saying, you know, about you know Friday yesterday, this place is on fire. <laughs> um, it's unbelievable. We've established these pockets of energy, you know, on the front nine with our treehouse, in the back nine with our fan zone areas, in area three one three with the village and the grove. Um, and the fans are coming out. Ticket sales have been brisk, and uh, we're approaching a sellout here today. Unbelievable. Awesome to hear. I know that that tree house out on the front nine, that's a new activation zone. Yeah. I spent a little time out there yesterday. I was out there early with that group of Finau, Davis, and Lashley. It is loud, and you said it. It's a pocket, but that was consistently yeah. loud all day. It really was. Uh, the, uh, big galleries out in that area. I mean, you can stand up on the, an elevated deck with just a grounds ticket and watch five, six, seven, eight. You can actually peek over and see the, yeah. the teams coming through, the groups coming through on one as well. Uh, so we've, we've really activated and turned on the front nine and kept the back nine really strong as well. And I mean, I was out in Area 313 yesterday, and I mean, I was goosebumps the entire time. I mean, just the roars were incredible. And to have the players last night and this morning that I was talking to just saying, you know, one of them um, was just like, Will was like, this place is on fire yesterday. It was just <laughs> unbelievable, and we just can't thank the fans enough for their support. And uh, we're excited to see them this weekend. Great work. Thanks. Good luck the rest of the way. He calls it Detroit's major. We understand why. There is, again, so much new here, so many different areas for people to see this tournament.